That is part of a typical IV ketamine infusion experience. IV ketamine therapy is one of medicine's greatest advances in the last 30 years. It can transform patients when they feel stuck, whether from depression, anxiety, chronic pain, PTSD, or addiction. It's revolutionary because it addresses the root causes of suffering, unlike traditional antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications. I want to demystify the IV ketamine experience because there is so much misunderstanding around the ethical and responsible use of ketamine to inspire patients' confidence and resilience, which are the foundations to our inner healing potential. And I'm going to share a real-life patient's IV ketamine journey where he overcame so many of the ruminations and perseverations that were responsible for his pain and for his sense of feeling stuck. Hi, my name is Alex. I grew up in New York City and then I moved to the Bay Area for my undergrad. I worked as an academic for six, seven years and have been in this tech sector for the last eight, nine years. The last few years have been personally a little challenging. Um, I went through a divorce and have been feeling quite stuck. My doctor recommended for me IV ketamine as a potential therapy, and that's why I'm here today. I'm feeling a little nervous, uh, excited, but a little nervous. I don't drink, I don't really partake in recreational drugs, so this is gonna be a bit of a novel experience for me. I'm excited for where the journey takes me. So what is the experience going to feel like? The experience is different for every individual. I sat down with Alex to answer all his questions in depth before starting. This step is very important to empower the patient and ensure a positive healing experience. You can watch our whole discussion in the video linked below. We next place the IV with plenty of numbing medication and patients rarely have any problems when I use the distracting techniques I've discussed in other videos. Then we slowly start the ketamine infusion. Every patient's experience is different. Some patients talk a lot and some patients are very quiet. Alex was on the quiet side, so he's going to narrate for you what he was experiencing during the infusion. So this stage, I'm pretty deep into the experience. I'm no longer really in the room. I'm on my journey and I just feel really calm. I did a lot of work beforehand to try to make sure I was very intentional about the goals I had and I was really paying off. I found just incredible clarity as we're going through. The actual experience is feeling super safe, super calming. The exact mixture of the music playing and that preparation is creating a pretty profound transformative experience for me. Every once in a while, I would have some sense of being back in the room. And this is, I think, a pretty good grounding experience because it just told me that like, hey, I'm safe, I'm good. I would see the doctors from kind of the corner of my eye when I would kind of snap back into being in the room to just create that pillar of safety. And then I would go back and continue my journey. Ask me your other questions about the ketamine experience in the comments below. After we finished the infusion, here's what Alex wanted to share about his journey. He's still a little disoriented, which is normal for patients in the first five to 10 and sometimes even 30 minutes after the infusion is over. I think the best way to describe it is like, I'm peering past the universe to sort of the true universe where everything is melting into each other or, or is one. But like, I wouldn't say like, it was like an out of body experience. I didn't see myself, but I am aware of being aware. And then like, I'm like, and what is now happening? I can't describe it. I cannot. It's like you become one. I'm trying to picture it. You feel yourself merging with the universe in a way that you, I, I really cannot otherwise describe. Um, I think you get clarity. The integration process, which is when patients process and unpack the intangible ketamine experience, is very important after every infusion. Here is what Alex wanted to share the following day after his infusion. The experience was quite frankly transformative and unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life. I'm so grateful to Dr. Kaveh and Trusta for working with me before to really help me identify the things I wanted to work on. Um, I had been feeling quite stuck in my life uh, for quite a while, and there were just things that I was struggling to work through. 
going through the experience, I found this incredible sense of clarity and answers I could not have really anticipated. The ultimate journey was very safe. I'm so glad I did it in a clinical context, in a medical office. I felt that at any time, uh, Dr. Kavi Shrestha were able to intervene if needed, uh, but there was no a need. It, would, it just went really smoothly, and it's actually challenging to describe the experience because it's just unlike anything else in life. That's intellectually interesting, but really the, the key thing here is it's so healing. It's so powerful in getting yourself to a point of discovery and answers where otherwise you may not find them. Trying other therapeutics or other approaches is just so different from this. And so, at least I know for myself, traditional therapy hasn't been overly effective, but this I, I found to be incredibly powerful. I hope this demystified the IV ketamine infusion experience and showed just how healing the journey can be. We'll check up again with Alex in a few months to see how he's doing and I'll link the video in the description below. In the meantime, you can watch my other videos where I share secrets on how you can spot scammy ketamine clinics and how you can select responsible and effective ketamine clinics for yourself. And you can always learn more by visiting my clinic in San Francisco, Claris Health, or by joining my premium membership community where you can ask me personalized questions in our private live streams. And remember, you have more power over your health than you've probably ever been told.